Good day to you and welcome to another Addix Club video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about communication in community schemes. Apart from financial stability, perhaps the second most important element in ensuring the successful operation of a community scheme is communication. How well the trustees or directors, with the assistance of their managing agent, communicate with residents. When everything in the scheme is as they expect it to be, Owners and other residents are often not particularly interested in how much information they have about the scheme. They may not even bother to read scheme communications, but when they have a problem of some sort, very often they expect to be kept informed at a very high level and to have every question answered as a matter of urgency. Some schemes address the issue of keeping owners and residents informed by circulating the minutes of their meetings, issuing regular newsletters and making sure that requests for information are handled in a predictable and reasonably efficient manner. We must bear in mind, however, that most trustees and directors are volunteers and they cannot be expected to be available 24-7 to address owners and residents' queries or assist them with the wide range of challenges that they may encounter in their homes and within the scheme. And the managing agent similarly is not available at all hours, so it's important that owners are told who they can contact when urgent situations arise, if, for example, the power or water supply stops unexpectedly, the electricity-driven uh, driveway gate stops working, or there's an obvious problem with the swimming pool. Apart from these com emergency communications, there are a range of techniques that should be considered. These include, firstly, encouraging owners to attend and observe trustees or directors' meetings. Secondly, holding a quarterly or half-yearly information meeting. Thirdly, establishing an online presence to allow all of those involved in the scheme to communicate with one another. And four, sending out regular newsletters by mail or an email. Scheme websites can be a very useful addition to a scheme's communication strategy. Owners and residents shouldn't be forced to go online to communicate with the managing agent, trustees or directors, but where a scheme does have a dedicated website, this can be used to facilitate online communication between trustees and directors themselves and between them and the managing agent as well as with owners. Before you consider spending money on establishing a scheme website and undertaking the costs of maintaining it, which is an ongoing expense for the scheme, I want to mention that Maestrata South Africa, in which Paddocks holds a share, is in the process of developing software that will offer every community scheme a completely free website. These My Community websites will allow different levels of access and functionality for managers, trustees, stroke directors, ordinary owners, and also tenants, so as to allow each one to get access to the document documents they're entitled to see and to interact at an appropriate level. I will keep you informed of our progress in this regard. Thank you for joining me in this video tutorial.